Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make the exactly what you see on your screen right now, the wallpaper. And yes, we will make this kind of retro, vintage and hipster looks wallpaper for your desktop or something else. It's really easy to make this wallpaper that only needs some background images, font, and some basic Photoshop skills as well. Open your Adobe Photoshop and create new document, go to File and select New. Now set the width to 1920 pixels, height 1080 pixels, resolution to 300 pixels, and set the background content to transparent and click OK. Drag your first background image into your Photoshop, then resize and reposition the image. Right click on the background layer and select Rasterize layer. Turn the image into black and white image by pressing down your control or command plus shift and plus U key on your keyboard and rename the layer to background 1. Next, drag your second background into Photoshop, then resize it and reposition it up. Now, we are going to blend the second background image with the first background but first, Restrize the layer and rename it to background 2. Then duplicate your layer, right click and select duplicate layer or you can press Ctrl or Command plus J on your keyboard to duplicate the layer. Disable the copied background and select layer background 2. Unset the blend mode to soft light. Next, we need to add levels adjustment from the adjustments panel. If you doesn't have the panel here, just click on window and select adjustments. Then click on levels and create a clipping mask at the first button at the bottom here and change the mid tone to around 0.55. Enable back the copy background. Set the blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to around 50%. Then add levels adjustments as well. Create a clipping mask and then change the mid tone to around 1.19. Okay, now select all the layers. By holding down your shift key and click on the bottom layer and press Ctrl or Command plus G on your keyboard to group those layers in a folder. And you can rename the folder to background. Duplicate the folder and merge the folder into a layer by right click it and select merge group or you can press ctrl or command plus e on your keyboard to merge the folder and as you see you will have the base background in one layer only next we are going to make a small blank circle in the center by using the ellipse tool go to your shape tool and select the ellipse tool by holding down your shift key drag your cursor to make a perfect circle resize your circle by using free transform tool Go to edit and select free transform tool and resize your circle just as small enough and not too big. To center the circle shape, first press Ctrl or Command plus A to make a selection around the document. By your move to selected, click on align horizontal centers and align vertical centers button on the top to center the object. And after that, press Ctrl or Command plus D to remove the selection. Now, by holding down your control or command key, click on circle thumbnail on the layer panel to make the selection of the shape. After that, click on background layer and just press delete key on your keyboard. Then, you can delete the circle layer. And you will see there's a blank circle created on the background image from the shape created before. Next, drag in your third background image into Photoshop. Resize and reposition the image. We are going to lighten up this image a little bit by applying the levels adjustment. Create a clipping mask and change the highlight to around 210. To make the third image more realistic inside the base background, we need to apply some shadow effect to background layer. Double click the background layer, 
and the layer style option will be opened. Click on drop shadow and now set the blend mode to normal, opacity to around 95%, angle to 150 degrees, distance to 18, spread to around 4, size to 6 and then click OK. Now I'm going to add some artwork for this wallpaper. I'm using the retro swoosh here or you can use any other artworks. Just drag it into Photoshop, resize and place it at any area around the circle. After that, you need to rasterize the layer and set the blend mode to color burn. Select your eraser tool and erase the artwork that seen inside the circle. Next, turn the artwork into black and white image. Then duplicate the artwork and reduce the opacity of the copied artwork to around 20%. Now, we are going to add the text inside the circle. Select your text tool and type any words but in this case, I'm typing my username. You can play around with your text tool to have the best text effect and then resize it to fit into the circle. Add the second text and resize it a little bit smaller than the first one. Place the two text layer below the background layer. And we need to apply shadow effect for the both layer. For the first text layer, just set the band mode for the shadow effect to normal and reduce the opacity to around 50%. For the second text, set the shadow blend mode to normal as well and reduce the opacity to around 55%. We are done! All files used in this tutorial are provided to download and the link will be in the description below. Hope you guys can make any other best wallpapers with all the techniques learned in this tutorial. Do follow my other social networks, my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time.